using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on both axes. Draw on a sheet of graph paper two perpendicular axes OX and OY for X being greater than negative 5 and less than 5 and Y being greater than negative 5 and less than 5. Draw on the same graph sheet indicating clearly all vertices and their coordinates I triangle ABC with vertices A 2 1 B 1 4 and C negative 1 2. I, I the image of triangle a1, B1, C1 of triangle ABC under a reflection in the line Y equals to 0. Where A maps onto A1, B maps onto B1, and C maps onto C1. I, I, I. The image triangle A2, B2, C2 of triangle ABC under a translation by the vector negative 2, 1. Where A maps onto A2, B maps onto B2, and C maps onto C2. IV, the image triangle A3, B3, C3 of triangle ABC under an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. Where A maps onto A3, B maps onto B3, and C maps onto C3. C, what single transformation maps triangle A1, B1, C1 onto triangle A3, B3, C3, where A1 maps onto A3, B1 maps onto B3, and C1 maps onto C3. Before we start this, we are first going to draw our OXY plane. Okay? And in our question, we were already given the vertices of what? Triangle ABC. So it wasn't given to us in vector form where we have to calculate for the vertices. This one was given to us directly. So we are going to go straight to the point, locate the points A, B, and C, okay? Now, in the first example, or in the scale given, we are told that you should have two centimeters to one unit on both axes, okay? So we have negative one on the x axis. We have negative one, negative two, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. The same way we have 1 here, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is our x-axis. Then we go to our y-axis. We shall also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we shall have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Okay? So with this, we have chosen our scale, and we've done it correctly. And now we can go ahead, we have our y-axis here. We can go ahead and then plot for the points A, B, and C. So we are given the vertices A21, B14, and then C negative 1, 2. So we go to our OXY plane and then we draw the triangle of A, B, C. So drawing the triangle. So drawing the triangle. We first locate the point A, x is 2, y is 1. So x is 2, y is 1, we locate this point as our point A. And then we have the point B, x is 1, y is 4, so 1, 4. So this is the point 1, 4. So we have B, 1, 4. And then the last point is C, x is negative 1, y is 2, so negative 1, 2. So this is the point C. C we have x is negative 1, 2. So we pick our rule and then we draw the triangle. This is the first triangle, triangle ABC. Okay? So we have the triangle ABC. Now in the second one, we are asked to find a reflection in a line y equals to 0, where A maps onto A1. B maps onto B1 and then C maps onto C1. So for reflection, reflection, for reflection in the line y equals to 0, our xy, we are saying a reflection in the line y equals to 0. So this is y equals to 1, y equals to 0. So if you are talking about y equals to 0, we are talking about reflection over here, okay? So the point 2, 1 now becomes 
2 neg 1. Okay, so our x y now becomes x negative y. Okay, so our x y becomes x negative y. So if x y becomes x negative y, our a which is 2 1 now becomes a 1 which becomes 2 neg 1. The same way our point B, which is 1, 4, okay, now also becomes D1, which is what? We negate, we have what? 1, neg 4. We are only negating the y's, okay? Then we have C, which is negative 1, 2. We we'll also map onto C1, which will give us, um, C1 becomes, we are negating only the y, which becomes negative 1, negative 2. So now we move ahead. And then we are going to plot the points A1, B1, and C1 on our OXY plane. So we find our A1. A1 is 2, neg 1. So X is 2, Y is negative 1. So we mark it. So we have A1, 2, neg 1. And then we have B1, 1, negative 4. X is 1, Y is negative 4. So we come here, 1, neg 4. We mark it. So this is B1, 1, neg 4. And then the last one we have C to be negative 1, negative 2. So X is negative 1, Y is negative 2. So we have negative 1, negative 2 here. So C1, negative 1, negative 2. So we pick our rule, and then we also draw the triangle in this case. So We have the triangle A1, B1, and C1. Now, the next one is we're asked to find a translation by the vector negative 2, 1. Okay? A translation by the vector negative 2, 1. Where A maps onto A2, B maps onto B2, and then C maps onto C2. So, which means we are going to use the vector A, B, and C to do that. So, we are going for translation. By the vector negative 2, 1. So we pick our A. So our A is uh, 2, 1. Now this will map onto, we shall have 2, 1 plus negative 2, 1. Okay? This is going to give us the vector A2, which is 2 plus minus 2 is 0, and then 1 plus. The same way we pick B, which is 1, 4. So B, 1, 4. Talking about a translation by the vector negative 2, 1. So we have 1, 4 plus negative 2, 1. This is going to give us B2, which will give us 1 plus minus 2, which is minus 1, and 4 plus 1, which is 5. So we have negative 1, 5. And then we, we pick the last vector, which is negative 1, 2. So we have C to be negative 1, 2. Mapping on, we shall have negative 1, 2, a translation by the vector. So we add them plus negative 2, 1. So this is going to give us C2. We get negative 1 plus negative 2, we get negative 3. And 2 plus 1, we get 3. So we have negative 3, 3. Then we go to our graph, okay? And then we plot these two points, all these points for the triangle, the three points. So we have A2, 0, 2. We shall have 0, 2. When x is 0, y is 2. So we look at the point x is 0, y is 2. x is 0, y is 2. This is the point 0, 2. So I name here A, that is A2. Okay, we have x is 0, y is 2. Then we find the next point, which is negative 1, 5. x is negative 1, y is 5. So we have negative 1, 5. Negative 1, 5 here. We locate this point as our B2, which is negative 1, 5. Okay? Then we go for C2, which is negative 3, 3. X is negative 3. Y is 3. Negative 3, 3. We have it here. So we have C2 to be negative 3, 3. Then we draw our triangle. So we first pick our rule.
This is our triangle A2. We have A2, B2, and C2. Okay, then we move to the last part. For anticlockwise rotation of um, 90 degrees, of 90 degrees, sorry, of 90 degrees above the origin. So for 90 degrees anticlockwise rotation, our xy, okay, our xy becomes negative yx. Our xy becomes negative yx, okay? So anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees above the origin. We have our xy becoming negative yx. Now we are saying A maps onto A3, B maps onto B3, and then C maps onto C3. So we are going to use the vertices A. So if we have A to be 2, 1, then in this case, an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees, our A3 becomes, we are saying the X comes down, which is 2, and then our Y goes up, which is negative 1. So we have negative Y, X. Then for B, which is 1, 4, we are going to have B3 to be equal to, we shall have the 4 going up, which will be negative, and then the 1 coming down. So we have negative Y, X. Then C, we have our X, Y, which is negative 1, 2. Now this becomes our C3, which becomes, this goes up, which becomes negative 2, negative 1. So with these three points, we are going to draw our triangle a3, B3, and C3. So let's move to our graph to draw the triangle A3, B3, and C3. It's two. So we have negative 1, 2, which is this point. So we name this point A3. Then we shall have negative 4, 1. B3 is negative 4, 1. X is negative 4, Y is 1. So we have the point negative 4, 1 as our B3. So B3, we have negative 4, 1. And then our C3 is negative 2, negative 1. X is negative 2, Y is negative 1. So we have negative 2, negative 1 as our C3. Negative 2, negative 1. So with these three points, which is the point A3, B3, and C3, we are going to draw our triangle. Okay? So we stand at So this is our triangle A3, B3, and C3, okay? So we have the transformation for the first one, which is y equals to 0, as our A2, B2, as our A1, B1, y equals to 0, we have A1, B1, which is this one, and we went to A2, B2, which is a translation by the vector, and the last one, anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees above the origin.